Yo, what up, it's Don. Simuli here. Uh, we are the Soul Brothers, back up in it with a top performers list yes. right now. Yes. This changes all the time, obviously. So many shoes coming out, um, and a lot of good performers. Yeah, it's crazy. Yes, a lot of good performers. I mean, we really have to chop shoes out of this list. I mean, we tried to do a top 10, but it's pretty much 12. Yes. Um, and we're going to do it in tiers. Yes. All right, but we do have a clear winner. Oh, we do. Yeah, uh, we do. All right, so let's get it started off with the Under Armour Anatonic Spawn Low. 110 bucks, which is a really good price. Really good performer. And traction is on point. Cushion is nice. Uh, materials are like a foam back mesh with a lot of synthetic over it, which I wasn't a huge fan of. It's, it feels pretty nice on foot, um, just, but just because of that and the quality and stuff like that, uh, that's why it's in the second uh, tier. Yeah, we are starting with the second tier, and yes. if you do want to cop any of these, the links are down below. Yes. All right, next shoe is the Why Not 0.2. Initially, when I first started playing this, I loved this shoe, and I still really like playing in the shoe. Uh, but one reason I don't like it as much as my other top performers is that it is, it's, it's not heavy, or it, it is, it is, like, it's, it's kind of heavy and kind of bulky feeling. And that's the only reason why I'm putting it in the tier two. Right. You know, like if it was a little bit lighter and a little bit more minimal, I would like it a lot more. Uh, like traction is great, that cushion, the, you know, the shape of the, the, the outsole and midsole. The compression of the heel, the four foot zoom unit, materials are nice and stuff like that. But it's just like not a hugely minimal shoe for me. So if you don't mind that, then it's a really great performer. But for me, I like to have a really minimal shoe. So that's why it's in the second tier. But Maybe a good big man shoe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I also it's pretty cheap. I think it's like what, 125 or yeah. 120. Um, all right, next shoe is the Kyrie Flytrap 2. Also a banger. I think it's like 80 bucks. Really good shoe, really cheap shoe. One thing that sucks about it is that the cushion is ass. Mm. So if you want any kind kind of impact protection, uh, your, your 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 feet your feet and your legs are gonna hurt. So, uh, but other than that, the traction are, are, is nice. The materials are okay for a eighty dollars shoe. It feels okay on foot. Fit is nice and it has a really nice also curvature. So there's a Kyrie flat shot too for you. I mean, for an eighty eighty dollars shoe to even be on the list is pretty exactly. pretty crazy. Exactly. All right, next shoe is a three hundred fifty dollars shoe, and that's the only three hundred fifty dollars <laughs> shoe you guys already know. Escalated that quickly. Movie. Exactly. Uh, it's in the second tier because the traction isn't on point on dust. Yeah. And that's probably the only reason why we love the Adapt Fit. Yeah, it's amazing. Right? The cushion is freaking nice. Yeah. It does feel a little heavy. I mean, it is heavy. It is heavy. Yeah. And we keep saying heavy. that it feels. It is heavy. Like, what, 15? Uh, I think it was like fifteen. Yeah, one of the heavier shoes, which yeah. makes sense. I mean, you got moving parts and electronics going on in there, but. You know, uh, awesome shoe, but yeah, the, the traction was a little disappointing and also just a little, you know, heavy and not as minimal as, as we like. Yes, and same thing with the KD12. I mean, uh, we'll have to wait and see on the sol solid rubber outsole because we tried the first color, which is translucent. But yeah, the traction wasn't great on dust, which yeah. sucks. Yeah, you know, we play on a dusty core, especially if it's dry out and it gets annoying. It's actually kind of hard to wipe, yes. which didn't help. Yes. So, but other than that, it's a really good shoe. Yes, and of course, we we tried all these shoes at the same time yes. on the same court, so we know what, which one sticks on dust and which yeah. ones don't. So, you know. All right, that does it for our second tier. Moving on to our first tier, and that's the Kyrie Five. Awesome performer. That segmented zoom zoom turbo in the forefoot feels great. I had to break it in for a little bit. Um, one thing that kind of sucks about it is that it is a little bit bulky. Or it's not bulky, but it feels a little bit like yeah. No, I'd say it's a little bulky. It's kind of um, like stiff, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, a little stiff. It needs a lot of breaking in, especially with the traction, cushion, and the materials. But once you break it in, it's a really nice performer. So you can't you can't go wrong with the Kyrie Fives. Mm -hmm. A uh, next shoe is the LeBron 16 low and LeBron 16. Uh, I I suggest just go with the low if you want to save money, if you want a little bit more of a minimal and lighter shoe. Um, but yeah, traction is awesome, cushion is freaking insane, very bouncy. It does suck that the court feel isn't very good. So um, you know, going from like uh, a shoe that has really good court feel to like the LeBron 16, it's like you definitely feel it. But if you only play in the LeBron 16, then you don't really notice it as much. Yeah. It's super expensive, 160 bucks for the low and 185 for the regular. Uh, but LeBron 16 for the win, super nice. Mm -hmm. All right, next shoe is the KT4 or the KT4 low. 
uh, I'd suggest go just go with the low. It's cheaper, feels a little bit lighter, better ventilation and stuff like that. If you guys want, if you want, guys want to watch the versus video, you guys can. But yeah, very very nice. Uh, super comfortable cushion, really nice traction. It's really good bang for your buck too uh, because the materials are very high quality. Feels very premium, but you get it for really cheap. Um, all right, next shoe is the T Mac Millennium. Yeah, also an expensive shoe uh, like the LeBron. Uh, kind of, you know, similar to LeBron. It's kind of very, very, it's a very supportive shoe. Um, and, and there's a lot going on. The cushion is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, and it's really expensive. But all those negatives, um, or a few negatives, don't, you know, really put it in the trash can because there's some stuff that's amazing. And if you're a big dude, it's a great big man shoe. The support is off the charts in yes. that shoe. All right, next shoe is the Curry 6. That shoe is amazing to play in, but it sucks because the durability is not very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've had a lot of people send in pictures of the defect of the outsole peeling off. But other than that, if that doesn't happen to you, the cushion is great. The traction is awesome. I love how minimal and thin the upper is and how easy it is to put on. And uh, pretty cheap, 130 bucks. Yeah, great performance. Same thing goes for the Harding Volume 3, you guys already know. So, uh, there's that. But our favorite performer on this list has to be the PG3. Yeah, which and is pretty one of the cheapest, which is insane. That goes to show you what you can do with, uh, with not much money. I mean, you don't need a ton of crazy, crazy tech. But, you know, there's enough in there. There's a zoom unit in the forefoot, which is, which is nice. But the cushion is a little better than the two. Like in the heel, yeah, <clears throat> that was a problem I had in the two. Uh, materials aren't crazy or anything, but on foot it feels good. Fit is good. I mean, if you feel somewhat minimal, uh, it's kind of a mix of a good mix of everything, and the traction is fire. Yes, Step traction one. is top tier, man. Like dust is not; it doesn't affect it. Uh, we tried the translucent uh, outsole, and it's like still really nice. So um, all of these shoes on on this list are really really nice uh, obviously the uh, top the first tier it are our favorites but even out of the first tier we still pick the pg3 yeah. like if i'm like oh dude i don't know what to play and i'm like kind of contemplating what to bring to the court i usually just go with the pg3s man. yeah so anyways that's those are our top performance list tell us what your top three performers are down in the comment section below if you guys want to call we'll leave links below thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next one later Peace.